Hi, Hi besties. besties. I'm Daniel. And I'm Grecia. Welcome back to the Besties podcast. Um, my apartment is hot edition. Um, and our co-star. The black dog. The black dog is here. Henry, what are you? Henry's touching Grecia's boobs. He's going to sing us a song today. Okay. It's called Black Dog. Go ahead, Henry. And there you go. He's still working on it. He's singing the whole song right now. Yeah. But if only the, the girls the who girls can hear it, it. like Jayla said. Um, guys, welcome back. So we have a few things to talk about today. Uh, something really embarrassing happened to me. Like really Yesterday, sinister. Right? Yeah, at the Planet Fitness. But there's always things going on at the Planet Fitness. Daniel has been, I know it's not the correct term, but he's been edging me about it. Edging. It is the correct term. Oh, really? Term. It's just on scary. Also, I've been, when I edited the last one, you need to talk into the microphone. There's parts where you're like this. Oh, so I, I'm like, so girl. I fucked the fuck off. Yeah. Okay. Let's just say English is not my first language. We're once again recording before we have to go somewhere. We are going to a little Logan Lerman Q and A after this, so I guess it can finally be YN and meet the man of her dreams. She said he might be married. I thought he was. Or did I imagine that? I don't keep up with the Lermans, so I don't have no idea. The way that I'm like a fan and I still don't know. It's because it's better if you don't know them so you can continue the fantasy. I I'm, I just know he's like in a long, committed relationship with the love of his life. And he looks happy. And what I told Gracie was that it doesn't matter anymore. Like, you could just... Be, it, if it works for Ariana Grande, it'll work for you. Fuck. Not well, even a baby. I, I just... Us. You know, like, me and him would never work out. He's like... He's like too... Tame, you like think? a little boring. You think? Yeah. You need him. Never mind. I need Dylan O'Brien. Let's just say yeah, that. He'll hit you. It will. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. To Sexually, like. yeah. Like yeah, like he'll like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he'll hit you. Anyways. But, okay. Talking well. about Logan Lerman, um, I just want to give you guys a quick little story about w- one of the things I did as a child. Okay. I. Th- I think I might have I forgot how old I was when like Percy Jackson came out like the first movie but I just remember like I had like the DVD so I used to watch it like every night before going to sleep because it was like and dream about him yeah because I was like in love with him that probably did something to your brain. It, it like altered it girl it, and Don't, Logan Lerman is your baby reindeer and he literally is <laughs> <laughs> wait that's so scary and one time I was uh, having a sleepover with a friend and like I made her watch the movie and I got like a ring, and then I like married him while watching the movie. So <laughs> I, I'm basically married. You said paper rings, but I, <laughs> I did. So I'm married. <laughs> what scene was the movie during the marriage? I think he was killing the the thing that has heads. What was that thing called? Medusa. Yeah. No. No. Oh, no. no. When they were at the museum. Girl, I don't remember. I, I thought you know. were the Greek mythology bitch. Or is that but not Greek? Thing, but the thing with the heads could be anything. The yeah. dog? Or was I, that a I don't remember. It was just a museum part. <laughs> no, I'm an Egyptian. Anyways. Girly. So that's how the fascination started. But I also had a Instagram account called like Hog Guys or something. It was a Logan Lerman fan account. I also it had was a Dylan O'Brien. Hog Guys, but Logan Lerman and Dylan O'Brien were the yeah. stars. And if you were feeling a little crazy, you were throwing the Zach Efron. I did. I do remember that account. You know what? Good times. I low-key feel like Hashtag TV's account might be that account. No, I think it was like my depression oh. account. <laughs> the, my, yeah, let's, let's, my, just, let's just call it your... My poem account. Yeah. It was my poem account. That's something to call it. If you know, you know. <laughs> I almost stole all this But it. let's hope you don't know. Anyways, Daniel, so do you have a pop offer of the week this week? Grace, I'm so glad you asked. First of all, that just hurt my teeth. So I might have a cavity. <gasps> Hello? Josiah? Who is it? Oh, no. He's on the freeway. Um, My pop offer of the week is... uh, Well, I don't want to get too into it just because I know you girlies do not come here to hear our political opinions. Like, I know no one, like, is coming here to hear expert opinions about current affairs of the world. You're just... You're here to see us talk about dumb things or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what you guys come here for, but... I like how you're saying that, but I always kind of talk about political things. Yeah, but, like, we're also not, like, 
It's just our opinions. We're not necessarily qualified. That's true. You know. But anyways, my pop-up for the week is the students protesting in defense of Palestine at all the universities. Yeah, they're popping the fuck up. It's crazy. Like, campuses, like, calling, like, police to, like, um, stop the... um, protest peaceful protest the way they're coming in full gear full gear and like pepper spraying it's it's just with guns and everything like calm down like it's crazy they're literally not doing anything they just have like their little tents and they're sitting down exactly like their peaceful protest is like something that's supposed to be protected allegedly by the girl and a lot of these universities where it's happening they're public universities which mm. is public so anyone can be yeah. there yeah so it's just so sinister and if you guys are part of any of those um campuses that are protesting i just want to say you ate <laughs> <laughs> you popped off um and thank you for doing the scary like yeah and work you're to making your besties proud yeah you're fighting for the lives of innocent people who I uh, can't really defend themselves right now in Palestine. So even Joe Biden is scared of the boots. Also, I was thinking, I can't believe we have to vote between two dumb pieces of shit. Like Joe Biden and Donald Trump are so... St- I honestly don't even think they could pass like the SATs. The PSATs, bitch. I wouldn't pass it either. <laughs> well, you're not the president of the United States. I'm about to test taking. Yeah. Well, again, like... There they should be able to test like, taking wasn't made for POCs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me just saying that to everything. Yeah. Okay. I'm like okay. <laughs> to make myself feel better. And I like how oh, I agreed with you. Yeah. Um. Actually, no. Uh, let me say it again differently. I don't think Joe Biden and Donald Trump could even pass a like a driving test. Like the one, the the written one. Girl, I know they couldn't. Yeah. Anyways, that was just it. I don't want to. Donald go Trump deserves jail. First of all, he's not gonna get it. Well, he deserves jail. Oh, of course. But <laughs> it's also scary because I'm like, so let's. I hope he gets jail. But then, what are his like psychotic fans gonna do? That's true. Um. Anyways, yeah. That's that's my. Those are my pop off for of the week for Palestine. Who's yours? Um, I was gonna say my f- my family slay because they've been really supportive as I've entered a new journey journey in my life. My working era, mm-hmm. um, I'm not financially stable. Wait, at first all. of all, I like how you're calling this new journey your working era, meaning that before that was your unemployed era. Yeah. Oh, okay. My following my dreams era. How about that? Okay, that's beautiful. And following my yeah, following my dreams era. Your destiny. Yeah, since I'm like barely like settling down with what I want to do with my life, I'm not financially stable, and like so for my new job, I needed like pants. In shoes because I don't have any like comfortable shoes. Since what kind of pants do you need to wear? Um, just like black pants, and I don't have any because this girl only wears dresses yeah. and skirts, and I don't like. And jeans. maybe a maybe a maybe a short. Yeah, maybe short. a short, but overalls. Ne- that's all I wear. I don't think I've ever seen you wear like jeans. I, I don't like them, and for my new job, I needed that, and I don't have any, and I need some comfortable shoes since like my new job like requires a lot of like standing around for long hours, and. I, I like talk to my like dad and mom about it and like both of them were able to like like buy me like stuff ah. and it's not just like like financially that I'm saying that they popped off but it's just like support that they seem like happy about my life decisions oh, okay and they seem to be happy for me for once oh okay for well my dad for once that's crazy so it makes me happy so they ate. like proud of you yeah yeah that's good and they're like yeah like don't worry about it like like you're if this is just like temporary like once you start making more money like you know you'll see what you you'll probably do. like do more for us in the future so thank you family oh, you guys ate you guys These ate. are the pop offers of the week say say the boot house all right what about your flop of the week actually it's your turn who's your flop of the oh, week oh girl let me just tell you marlise and i were in the Ticketmaster trenches Trying to get Billie Eilish tickets. Oh, I thought you were going to say the Troy. Oh, no. Oh, Josiah, Marlies, and I were picked 
for the sweat tour featuring Charlie XCX, Trey Sivan, and Shy Girl. We will be in that pit sweating with all the other stinky twinks that do not wear the deodorant with aluminum. Uh, so we'll be there. That, those tickets and we the Brandy that. Melville like entrance. Oh, I won't fit through it, but maybe I'll just sneak in another way. But, okay. Um. So I'm just gonna say this: those pit tickets, one thirty. Sorry. One hundred thirty, which is you know, an expensive concert ticket. That's not bad. The forum pit, I feel like is. Yeah. Like that's I think about how much I paid for Harry Styles also, which like for the forum it's a big venue whatever it's like you see bigger artists there. I'm fine with that for Pitt. And then as you go up, it gets cheaper. Billie Eilish announced the tour. And she was they were, she was announcing all these, like, rules. So it was like, you can't resell for more than the price you bought it for, face but value. who's going to, like, what's it called? Resell? Who's going to... Regulate that. Ticketmaster. So you can only, like... But what about in other reselling websites? You There's no transfer. She turned off ticket oh. transfer. So you can literally only sell your ticket on Ticketmaster through, like, verified resale or something. Mm-hmm. And it'll only be the face value that you bought it for. So you can't, like, make money off of it. I guess that's good. Well, let me tell you how much. The tickets cost... So it was like three. There's three L- LA dates at the forum. And she thought she. And she, girl, I'm so sad, but I'll just say it. Um, so she sent out emails to anyone who would. There was no pre- re- fan registration. It was like if you've registered before, mm-hmm. you get pre-sale. Mm-hmm. So like she's like to my OG fans, here you go. Here's a pre-sale code. So Marley and I was like, we're like, okay, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna get good seats. We're so excited. We saw Billy at the forum like for her last tour, and it was so much fun. It was like one of the best concerts I've ever been to. I haven't been to that many, but still, it was really good. We get into the first. So it was like one was one pre-sale was at 12, then one was at one, and then one was at two. So it was every hour mm-hmm. to be kind of stagger them out. So we're like, we were like, okay, let's just try each one. And whichever one we get, that's the one we get. We get into the first one. Pit is $230. The 100s, 250 to like a little bit less. <laughs> The seats at the very top, the last... Wait, at the forum? Yes. The last row of seats, $122. The last row, like back against the wall of the Wait, forum. Wait, how much? $122. For the back, like literally you're pressed up against the wall. That's insane. When that's the price of a pit ticket for a different, for three artists basically uh-huh. at the exact same venue. And like I know Does obviously... Does it come with free merch or something? No. No, that was just that's crazy. Ticket. And so we were like, okay, maybe this something happened. Let's just try for the next one. We tried for the next one, and there was more tickets, but they were the same price. And we were like, wow, I don't, I don't think we, I don't like, we paid. The most we paid for Taylor, we're just gonna say it, was like two thirty, for the one hundreds. Mm-hmm. It was a really good seat for Arizona opening yeah. day. That was a stadium. Yeah, that was a stadium. 230 for Pitt. I don't know. And I don't, obviously, like, I know that, like, she's very, like, she has really good, like, I don't know if it's called work practices. Like, she pays her, like, employees really well. Like, all her merch is expensive, but it's because it's made, like, without child labor. It's, like, made 100% in the Los Angeles with, like, verified practice. Like, She's trying to make sure nothing sketchy is going on behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. So to me, I was like, okay, maybe that's just to be able to pay everyone fairly, maybe higher. Mm-hmm. I hope. No. I don't know. But we didn't end up getting tickets. No? No. I thought you guys did. No. They're too expensive. We were like, we're about to go to New York. Like, and the twink we tour. obviously. And the what? Twink tour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the sweat tour. Yeah, we're like, we. We. we obviously like want to do things in new york like that are going to be kind of pricey it really adds up especially because we're going for like seven days or six yeah like a week almost yeah i was just like at least i don't think we're gonna go see this and we already saw her once huh you already seen her yeah also like the the album isn't even out yet i do think i'm gonna like it but like yeah it's not out yet so i don't even know but isn't that sinister yeah crazy i would not pay 230 for 
Pitt. For I think Melise has. Hasn't she? For Pitt? For who? I don't think so. No, she said the most she ever spent on a ticket was Taylor for Arizona. Oh, never mind then. And that was crazy. But it was so worth it. I don't regret it at yeah. all. So yeah, that's my flop of the week. I was obviously disappointed because I did really want to see Billie Eilish on tour, but that's just not going to happen. Anyways, this is your flop of the week. My flop of the week. Talking to the microphone. Again, like the white pussies. I don't know where they come they're from. They're cat hair, I think. No, they're not. Oh, okay. Okay, so the flop, my flop of the week if you are a makeup follower and you're on TikTok, like me, you've probably seen this going viral. It's the drama between, no, the drama that came from the cosmetic brand called Euphoria. So. Oh, wait. Is this about the pigment? Yeah. Okay. I, d- I kind of, I don't really know much about it, but I Okay. I'll, s- I'll like simplify it. Okay. So basically Euphoria had came out with the foundation last year and okay. they they had some problems last year because the, the sh- there was not a big uh shade range mm. they only they had like six shades of like white white basically yeah. and like some they're like white white who's been out in the sun medium, for a little bit yeah some <laughs> medium shades and like one dark shade so obviously like the like darker creators started like talking about it like how are you how are you doing this we're like in 2023 like Four. back then. oh oh <laughs> 2023 like fenty beauty like has came out with like 40 shades of like foundation yeah. like all these brands are doing this and basically what euphoria has said was oh we're like a indie brand like we don't have like the budget to make more foundations but this is just like the the trial like foundations like we're still working on more okay. so but people were still like mad and people were still like whatever because they still like some other products because they had like a cool like viral uh blush that like changes color with the <gasps> ph balance of your skin fine. yeah like it looks green and as soon as it touches your skin it like turns pink like cute. Y- yeah like they have like some cool stuff like all their f- like products are like skincare okay so the foundation what it went what it's supposed to be it has like really good skin benefits that you can go to sleep with it okay and it's expensive whatever so a, a year passes and recently they came out with more foundation more foundation shades so this is like the new drop and the new drop okay and basically th- they came out with like two really two darker shades and one of them was like a, a brown color that yeah like it's wearable like a d- for a darker skin for darker skin and then another one that is just like pure black like oh, I did black see this. and at first i was like i didn't think much about it i was like oh but like the the more i like read into it because obviously like i don't have like darker skin mm. and I, I hadn't seen like swatches and it was just like black like there's like chemists talking about it how it was just like black pigment yeah. in the foundation and if you guys don't know much about like color theory like black like when you when like with foundations everyone has like an undertone mm-hmm. like you and red. me yeah you have yeah. a reddish undertone i have a yellow undertone mm-hmm. everyone has an undertone like how is someone gonna have like a black undertone yeah like That's when crazy. it's just black it looks gray and there it was, was really a creator that like swatched it next to like black paint mm-hmm. and it looked like almost black the same paint. thing That's crazy. Yeah, and it's just like crazy like now in 2024 Did they not test it? How does that happen? Like what people are saying that's like that's like racism well, at yeah. that point cuz like do you not know what skin is like did you not test it on people and like even like for the promo pictures they were like trying to look for models to like model like obviously for foundations models like model the foundation how how do they like they're just wearing it or yeah oh, okay okay and they do swatches they could not find anyone so then so so that should have been their first like maybe we shouldn't put this so out so even for like the the other foundations there's like models for that one it's just like a swatch oh like on the website if you're trying yeah. to buy it it's just like oh, a little that's swatch. that's crazy and i don't know it's just like really fucking sinister the makeup beauty like whoa the makeup like and beauty 
industry. It's like scary. It's scary. It's really scary. Like there's it a had, lot of sketchy. It had things. really like calmed down for a while. Girl, after James and and after that whole Jeffrey thing, Jeffrey Star yeah. and all that. But I don't know. It's like something always happens, and yeah. that's my pop. Your flop. My flop, because yeah. that's sinister. Like, yeah. do you like not know? And like the creator, she's like an Asian woman. <laughs> it's just crazy, cause like I don't understand how every step of the way, no one said something. Yeah, that to me is like, are you all just like, do you not care about your jobs? Like, if I was in at, at some point, maybe I was like the marketing team, and we saw that we couldn't find a model for this and i'd tell somebody I'd be like maybe we should like rethink or retest this because m- this yeah, shouldn't that literally be doesn't the case. make sense like even if we went to like on the other spectrum where we're like trying to make a really light foundation mm-hmm. you're not just gonna use white pigment like, yeah no like no one's paint. that shade no like there's like undertones like are they like if you're like a makeup artist or you're like a chemist like you obviously know that there's other shades that no. come in foundation so That's i don't crazy. know maybe it's laziness racism like maybe everything. i don't know a little bit greed. of everything greed they just want money because also you're saying they had skin stuff they didn't really have to make foundation like they could have just kept doing like sunscreen i don't know what they make but like yeah other things they didn't have to get into foundation because not everyone has to do foundation no and if you get into foundation you have to have the range of and like they're saying yeah you're a small business like you're indie like yeah it takes a lot of money to do foundations because like you have to do like a lot of shades yeah like yeah you should have just stuck to like lip balms and blushes and if it was going well for you like it's just so sinister. Like, why did they stop doing it? Yeah. So, yeah, that's my flop of the week. I agree with you. That's that's really sinister. I did see, like, a few things about it, but I'm not really, like, a beauty girly. So, like, I didn't. It's still sinister. Though. Yeah. it's. I agree with you. That's a good one. Um, My tears ricochet. I had another one, and I forgot to write it down, but I do have one here. A dog grieving over his bunny bestie. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it was this video. Um, Do you only have one today? Yeah, I had oh. another one, but I don't remember what it is. Well, well we're going to talk about Baby Ring there, obviously. And the last episode was so beautiful, but, well, like, sad. Well, okay, whatever. Um, We'll get into that later. But this video, it was, like, this do- this lady had a dog and a bunny. Mm-hmm. And they were, like, BFFs. Mm-hmm. And then it was, like, a little video of the dog. The bunny was in a box. You mm-hmm. can really, see, obviously, she was going to film her dead pet for tiktok so but the bunny was in the box and she was showing it to the dog to like kind of understand oh that like, it's gone your friend is gone and the dog was crying and he was trying to play with what type of dog was it like a big dog like a big dog and then she was showing videos of them like running around and everything i was like i was not okay did it have a song i don't you like how i'm like focusing on like the dumb details it was probably the i used to flo- just kidding i don't know i honestly have no idea but I was just like, wow, like that's. And so montage cool. always gets me. Yeah, the montage always gets me too. Fuck. It was just so sad. And then I was thinking about Harry and Henry, and I was like, would either of them be sad? I think they would be. No, even though like they would get you, you think that they don't like each other, like they feel the energy when one is gone. Yeah. Like that's what I think about my cats. But one, like sometimes they take one of them to the vet, and then and then the other one like looks really sad. like out of place and like uh, sad. Yeah, like when I take Henry to San Diego and. Josiah's here with the cat. He's like the cat. I think the cat misses Henry. Yeah, like the cat looks for him. And yeah, then, like they're confused. Yeah, and when Henry's in San Diego, like he's like excited to see the cat again. Aww. So it's like weird. I don't know, but they don't really like when they play. It's so aggressive. You've seen it. Yeah, it's Godzilla versus Kong. Like I'm like, girl, do you guys like Who's each other? <laughs> um, Henry's Kong, and he- no, Harry is Godzilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harry Styles is Godzilla. Henry is Kong. That's so cute. Yeah, that's how I think. I love them. And I'm Millie Bobby Brown. Because <laughs> she's in that movie. <laughs> Anyways, it was my tears ricochet for you. Oh, fuck. Okay, Ben is kind of crazy. But wait, really quick. Have you seen the video of Millie Bobby Brown? I don't even know what it is. <laughs> she's like doing an interview and there's like a balloon. And she's oh. like, this ain't Texas. And she pops a balloon. No, Daniel. <laughs> wait, what? The only one I know. The only also, on her interviews are kind of crazy yeah, like the one where she's eating a fucking carrot and she looks really british 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like, what dirt they taste better or something? Okay, that was not an accident. No, I don't was... know what that was. <laughs> oh, wait. I was searching my friend's list. <laughs> I think she is in your friend list. Also, I've seen, like, some interview, like, recent interviews of her. And, like, her British accent is, like, gone. Yeah. You know what's really interesting? Accents. Yeah. And how, like, accents will fade. Yeah. Or people will take on an accent yeah. to a, to fit better into um society. A space, yeah. Anyways. Anyways. What yeah. did you what did you cry about this week? So, like I said before, I started a new job. Let's just say I'm like in the childcare industry or something like that. Or what should I classify my job? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I one of the schools that I've gone to, um, my my children that I look take care of, they love performing. Okay. They love a good performance. They I'm do curious. like plays or they do like little dances mm-hmm. or singing. And um like four days ago the kids they they sign up to do the performances during like their free time and one of the girls like did a speak now performance uh. and it was a little lip sync but like her like her drag race yeah <laughs> i was gonna say that okay. for you just for you okay thank you and like one of her friends was behind her and she like made out uh heart cutouts <laughs> and she would like sprinkle them in the air That's for so her cute. and i don't know it like really like heals like my inner child and i was like tearing up because i was like fuck like like taylor like did so much for me as a child and yeah. she really helped me like like play and grow up and like go through heartbreaks mm-hmm. and so many things and like she's doing the same thing for like other kids and <gasps> yeah like with the re-recordings it's like younger kids are discovering this old music that yeah. is so good yeah like speaking of is such a good album so yeah that's so cute that like kids are able to listen to it and relate to it all over again <laughs> Yeah, so I was like singing along and cheering her on, and she was like, she she was happy. Well, yeah. she what song did she do? Speak now. Speak now. Oh, okay, that's so beautiful. Because also like speak now, like at least back then, not a lot of that's not like a popular, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, no. That was not a song that I would If it I wasn't the re-recording, it wouldn't be like super. Yeah, popular. so or, like, her singing that song, it was like interesting. So. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Because that song is from what? 2012? 13? 14? So yes, 2009, I think. 2009? Yeah, I think so. Girl. You that, were close, though. That's all. I wasn't close. Yeah. And, yeah, it, I don't know. It just made me tear up. That's I was beautiful. like, this is so fucking cute. Thank you, Taylor Swift. Yeah, thank you, Taylor. Um, Speaking of Taylor Swift, should we do a little Torch of Poets department two weeks later, post-mortem? Postmortem. Yeah. That's kind of yeah. scary. What are we gonna say? Well, just like, what are your thoughts on the album now that you've had some time to like really like listen to it, get your favorites? Maybe they changed from when you first. Because when we first did our initial reaction, um, girl, also I think we talked about it the last two episodes, but that's uh, okay. Whatever. We're we're Swifties. Honestly, yeah. the people who have been like listening to this from like the beginning. They know that we talk about Taylor Swift. Yeah. Like, like before, we used to talk about her like every single. And episode. it'll die down a little bit after. Like, who knows? Well, like, well, well when Reputation, Taylor's version. Fuck. Also, by the way, I just want to say, let the record show that this Besties podcast is was always on the right side of history with Reputation. I that even to the fact that like we literally made a music video for "Look What You Made Me Do." Before the album came out, I think I think it was still a single. And literally the day after the single and music video came out, I grabbed all my friends. I said, we're having business. I had meetings with everyone on FaceTime. I said, tell me who's done you wrong. Tell me who's and done you ate. wrong. And w- we, like, made a music video that was, like, our, like, to our Kanye West, basically. Like, there's re- crazy. To, nobody else will get it. But to us, it was, like... And we still rewatch it every oh, so I often. Oh, I love it. It's so fun. And, and it's it still like, hits. Yeah, we'll have to make a Taylor's version one. Um, Daniel. When it comes out. But it, it won't be like. The way no one has done me wrong in, wrong in a while. No, we'll do like, we'll just like, I have an idea for it. I'll tell you about it later. I'm scared. Well, if, if it happens, obviously. But it'll be more of a like a Swifty thing than a. Okay, slay, done me dirty slay the thing. blue house. Um, but anyways, yeah. So what do you think? 
infrastructure poets department. So I, I know I already told you this, but for sure, this has. Well, I, I didn't know how I would rate it from like the my favorite albums, okay. but now I know it's like my second favorite album after like, Folklore. Okay, period. Honestly, it might be the first one at, at some points, but no, Folklore has too much history. Yeah, like, Folklore like, like really changed. She everything. dragged me out of like the ditches. Like, <laughs> yeah, is that the right word? Sure. Okay. Like I like I was like about to end it all. Like I was like <laughs> Taylor needs to come out with like a new country like yeah. album or I'm gonna like we, pass out. We had been. Th- it was so weird because like right before Folklore came out, we had all been like listening to Taylor Swift secretly in the pandemic, and then. We, I, you were like I've also been listening To Taylor Swift recently And I had like A whole album Yeah No I made like A playlist of all Her country music Cause yeah. I love Her country shit Yeah I remember literally Driving to your house And like You were in my car And we were like Yeah Taylor needs to Come out with like A new like Country or like Slow album Like mm-hmm. not a pop one We want a slow one And literally like When she announced Folklore I was like No way And we're like We're out Yeah We're out Of the closet Cause we were like Oh <laughs> Girl, we made a whole music video. That's true. The closet was clear Never mind. again. Never mind. It's she, it's she just like re sparked something yeah. in us. But, anyways, yeah. It's really good. And one of the songs that like has really like. I don't know if I really like it, but I like the idea of it. It's the song Robin. Because it okay. it's for Robin Williams. Oh, what? Yeah, I don't think so, girl. It, yeah. And it, well, that's, what, that's what TikTok told me. It's well, like, girl. Also, TikTok told me it was for Aaron De- Dessner's child, who's named Robin. Uh, I believe TikTok about this Robin one. Williams? Girl, why would it be for Robin Williams? It's about a child. And he, when he says, wait to go tiger, because that's what Robbie Williams said in the Peter Pan movie. Maybe it's like, obviously, like multiple meaning. She loves a multiple meaning. That's true. I don't think it's for Robin Williams. Well, that's how I'm going to see it. Well, yeah, of that's course. That's how I see it. Like, if, that, if to you, that makes the song have meaning yeah because i'm a big robin williams fan and mm. it just like makes me so sad like the way he left also wait you know what that wouldn't make sense because wasn't he in the torture or the dead poets society i have no idea i didn't, I didn't even know that was a movie till that you told me okay. let me look it up it sounds like she's singing to a child <laughs> and she's being like but then also peter pan was a child and robin what? william was playing a child in Robin, I mean, in maybe it's just well, she references Peter Pan a lot. She does in her music, but like the way I her, her like listen to it was like she's like looking at like a child and being like, "Stay young and innocent while you can, because girl, some you got some dark things coming." It was like about childhood innocence, at least the way that I heard it. But it would not surprise me if. It was also like a little like thank you to Robin Williams because in the Fortnite music video, the two guys, Ethan Hawke and the other guy. Fun fact, I'm a uh, music video connoisseur and haven't watched it. You're a music video connoisseur? Do you like that word? Yeah, I do. Do I sound fancy? You do. I don't like music videos, if I'm just going to be honest. I don't know why. I just never really like them. I actually don't like spoil it. I want to watch it. Well, you haven't seen that movie, so it doesn't matter. Okay, sorry. Um... The two kids, Ethan Hawke and another guy, they were kids in that movie, and they're were in they the music gay? video. I don't know, bro. Oh. No. <laughs> Why was that your question? I thought... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> was that an animal? I don't know. <laughs> it's like a scream. That was scary. I don't know what that was. Kind of sounded like a cat. It sounded like a cat, but then like the ending sounded like a human. <laughs> yeah. well, I hope Anyways, they're okay. The window's open. Yes, yeah, interesting. I hadn't heard the Robin Williams thing, but I don't. I don't know. It's just like so beautiful, and if she did make it for Robin, like she literally made my whole life. It would be like I I can see how she would use like the career of Robin Williams, comparing it to the innocence of a child, and sort of how he brought he made so many people's childhood like happy, mm-hmm. but he wasn't happy inside, and like we saw obviously how that ended yeah um so i do see that adds a little bit of tragedy yeah into the I also something i did not know was that he had like he was diagnosed with alzheimer's so like people think that he also like obviously like took his life because oh. he was like depressed about 
like being diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And that makes so me sad. so sad. I mean, like, and I miss Coco too. Coco. Oh, the the gorilla that was his best friend. <laughs> Is Coco dead? No. The I, I don't think Coco so. the gorilla? What are you talking about? Are you serious? You don't know who Coco is? Wait, is it the one that's in sign language when he's dying and he's like, be good? Yeah. Girl, that video's fake. No, she's real. But the video of her message to humanity. No, no, not that one. Who's that one? Girl, why is there so many famous gorillas? No, she's Harambe. Mm -hmm. King no, she Kong. Was like one, like when she found out that Robin Williams died, she said that she was sad. Wait, what? And it's so sad. Crazy. I had no idea. She did die. She died in 2018. Coco. Sorry, I'm not trying to laugh, but like, this is crazy. You fucking hate me. You hate my sadness. Sometimes when I'm sad, I watch videos of Robin Williams and Coco playing. They're Why were they friends? Because they met, met each other. Because I think Coco used to watch his movies and she was a big fan like me. Santa Cruz Mountains? She, she lived in California, the gorilla? Yeah, she's a California. Is girl. there a gorilla foundation here? I did not know that. Isn't that beautiful, Daniel? Those are the things that keep me up at night. Coco, the gorilla, mourns the loss of her special friend Robin Williams. I'm I'm not gonna play it. No play. It. No. <laughs> <laughs> play it, Daniel. Why? I want to see it. <laughs> Show me to me, please. Hold on. I don't know if this is the right video. I'm on Good Morning America. No, I don't think this is it. So, how did they teach this? gorilla sign language uh, it was like part of a study coco the talking gorilla died thursday where she had lived most of her life was 46 i miss coco wait i swear there's like a coco's message to humanity and she also loved kitties just <gasps> coco's like message to humanity this i told you you haven't seen that video i i honestly maybe i did because i'm obsessed with coco hold on i'm getting the chills Okay, yeah, it was fake. So there's a video and it's Coco signing, and the captions, mm -hmm. it's like this is her last message to humanity I would before she dies. I know, I believed it too for the longest time. And it's like, and saying people needed to fix, help, and protect Earth. But this thing, this fact checking website, apnews.com, they say the video is partly false. This video does not show the gorilla's final words. It was captured in 2015, three years before Coco died. And was a public service announcement for which the gorilla was provided a script oh. and filmed in several different takes. The fact, a post liked more than 150,000 times on Instagram this month falsely claims the celebrity gorilla gave a grave warning that mankind needed to hurry. I mean, if it gets people to recycle, <laughs> I'm fine with a little scamming. Hi, you're in. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Where? How did we get here? <laughs> Stop looking at pictures of the gorilla. Crazy, <laughs> stop. Wait, why did they become friends? You stop and told me. I think she used to watch his movies. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not true. Maybe I imagined that. That's not true. She was a fan. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Okay, we'll research this later. Okay. Stop if you guys know Coco, let me know. If you're a fan. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Whenever I listen to Robin, I think of Robin Williams and Coco. That's beautiful. That's, I don't know if that's what this song's about, but... Obviously can, not Coco, but Robin Williams, yeah. It could be about whatever you want it to be. Okay. Anyways, Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I am actually... A, I love this album. Now that I've gotten time to, like, really think about it and... Mm -hmm. Listen to the songs. I love Fortnite. I have so much fun singing it. I love the Tortured Poets Department. I have so much fun singing it. Um, I don't know. I love Florida. I love Who Is Afraid of Little Old Me. There's some still some songs that haven't won me over, but they might later or they might not. Doesn't matter. I, you know. I like the majority of the album. I love the Black Dog. I love the Albatross. Um, thank you, Amy. I love I Look in People's Windows. I know. Um, the Bolter the manuscript overall i just think people made very quick judgments about it and i you're a hater Ooh, not me girl i said people no, not you oh come on attacking woman i have a come good on attacking women is that what you said <laughs> sure i had a oh my god i had a good tweet i mean 
Coco the girl is the best thing, by the way. She, we need to add her. So one of my pop off the of the weeks, so I actually do, I forgot the picture, but it ties with Taylor. Okay. Is John Green? He tweeted this. This. Every <laughs> few years, thousands of people are surprised to learn that I'm a fan of Taylor Swift. One, I am a fan of Taylor Swift. I have been since first. I first heard speak now in 2010. Two, I love Taylor Swift music and lyrics. You don't have to, but I get to. Three, I love the Taylor Swift fandom. Again, you don't have to, but I get to. Four, make your whole identity disliking something slash someone is weird and a bit sad. Yeah. Five, the Tortures Poets Department, it's excellent and I love listening to it. The writing is so, so good. Six, gentle reminder that I deleted almost all of my tweets after a few minutes. I don't know. I understand that one. Oh, maybe we missed the context for that one. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I do really, really agree with the idea that your energy is spent. Hating on some. Yeah, like someone. it's so much better for you to spend your energy like celebrating the artists you love, the art, like sharing the art that you want to share with the people who follow you on social media, your friends, whatever. Spending your time just hating on someone is just such a waste of time and i've been there in the past obviously girl I'm, and you know i don't regret anything bad i've said about maddie healy but <laughs> like uh, there's been times where i've been a hater but it's just such a waste of time you're not getting anything yeah. from it and i just because when torture poets came out i saw some people posting like hate things and i'm like girl just this, if it's not for you, then don't worry about it. It's a normal Friday for you. Y- you know something crazy? Okay, so, you know when the s- the leaks had gone out? Yeah. Like, people are like, oh, my God, oh, this is the worst album I have heard of. Yeah. And then other people are, like, saying, oh, my God, like, no one is, like, really making, like, a big, a big, what's it called? A big deal out of this album. Yeah. And they're like, it's probably not going to do good and shit. And, like, n- n- everyone's, like, done with Taylor. It's, like, her and biggest. And funny how... Yeah. It's the most fucking stream album on Spotify or whatever. Ever. Ever. Yeah. I mean, people obviously really resonate with her music. If you don't, that's okay. Like, whatever. But spend your time celebrating and sharing. Like, if you, like, love these indie artists, share them. Mm -hmm. So that other people can maybe like them, too. Yeah. She's pop. Taylor Swift is popular for a reason. It's not, like, it's not news to anyone. It's just, like, girl, whatever. You know? Yeah. It's so much more fun. Like, for ex- uh, Marlies, this Marlies segment. Like, for example, Marlies used to be a Taylor hater. But then, like, Taylor finally won her over. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's fun to have Marlies, like, at the concert. I'm glad she came out of the Swifty closet before the era store. Yeah. Because that would have sucked. She had if, like, to. Yeah. Um, and, like, folklore, I think, really resonated with her. And, you know, maybe she did, maybe so you only like one of her albums. Maybe you only like two of her. Whatever. Like. I don't know. It's just spend your don't spend your energy hating. If I, there's no. There's I've no heard that uh, like on s- that on what the fuck am I saying? Okay, I so on TikTok, I've seen some people like talk about like Taylor Swift and people hating on her, and s- and s- I saw like a girl was like, oh my god, like I didn't like Taylor Swift, I didn't like her music, and she's like, oh, but like I started like l- like listening to the lyrics, and she's like, now I get why like Swifties like are Swifties why they mm. love Taylor Swift music like she has like a lot to say in her lyrics yeah. and I was like that's what most people should like do like at least I like, give it a listen well for me it's like when people were like all hate listening I've never hate listened to an album me either. if I don't like the album or the artist no. why would I do that I'm not gonna listen to an artist I don't like literally I have so many better things to do than like listen to music that i don't even want to listen to in the first place like what a weird y- use of your time and obviously there are people who are like into like music and like that's mm-hmm. the whole thing like i've hate watched movies before i'll watch anything and like if i don't like it oh well i haven't what hate watch a movie have i i don't think so i don't think so well with a list you should you know go watch whatever random things <laughs> well yes you have girl you've been dragged to watch marvel movies not by choice well that doesn't matter you were there <laughs> Stop showing me that picture. Uh, Grace is pulling up the picture of Coco the girl and Robin Williams again. Again, anyways, this was not meant to be the Swifty podcast again. We have other things to talk about, um, but yeah, torture poet, love it. Let's move on. Um, okay, I wrote some notes. 
I have a story time, and I'm going to say it right now. I also wrote, can't stop thinking about challengers. I'm going to throw up, but I'll save that for after you've seen it. Um, okay, do you want to, should we do the baby reindeer postmortem, or should I do my story time? Actually, I'm just going to do my story time real okay, quick. Sorry. Oh, guys, this is so embarrassing. And first of all, I will say when embarrassing things happen to me, it makes me feel alive. Did you fart? No. <laughs> no. Also, I don't think that's that embarrassing. Okay. But I was at Planet Fitness and I was working out and I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm going to go wash my hands. So I have my little headphone and one AirPod. I never put both in because I need to be aware of my surroundings. So I had my Especially one. Especially in my locker room and Planet Fitness. Exactly. I had one AirPod in. It was like Fortnite was playing. It was like, eh, Fortnite. Oh, wait. Yes, it was Fortnite. So I go to wash my hands and the floor is a little slippery. Oh. And it's like black. Sli- like, it's like wet, but everyone's shoes are dirty. So it's like black wetness. Okay. I go to wash my hands, whatever. Now it's the Tortured Poets Department playing. So I'm like, Tor- whatever, Tortured Poets Department. No, no, no. I don't know. I, maybe. I was humming, maybe. I wash my hands and I dry them. And then I turn around. The w- it's like the way the bathroom is set up is like sinks. And the opposite side of the sinks is the stalls and the urinals. And then you walk, you turn and you walk out and it's the locker room and you leave, whatever. I turn around to walk out and a man starts turning out of the urinals. Like, he just used the urinal now. He's going to go wash his hands. Picture, like, if Santa Claus was super buff (laughs) and, like, muscular, like, maybe... A bear? Had a motorcycle. Sure, yeah. That sounds hot. Girl, hold on. So, whatever. Just picture that. Picture buff Santa. So, he... We both kind of meet at at the... Was he tall? Than yes, you? he was a little bit taller than me. This is the okay. <laughs> you're like trying to make this a fanfic. <laughs> That's not where this is going. Although this is kind of a fanfic moment. It's so embarrassing. So we both like. I'm like trying to leave. He's trying to go to the thing. So we both kind of do that thing where. Oh, that's horrible. I agree. You know when you're like about to like run into someone, so you both kind of like. Yeah, oh, he's gonna horrible. go the other way. So I did that. I st- <laughs> I stepped to the side to get out of his way. I stepped in the wet floor Aww, like the sludge. I knew it. I started slipping backwards. Did he catch you? He caught me. He put Daniel. his hand on my back and Daniel, caught me. That's no, it's not beautiful. It's so embarrassing. And that's how you how you met your mom. No, <laughs> no. And I was like, oh my god, and he like laughed. Like that's hot. No, it's not. And so he laughed. I'm like hot. Like I'm like sweating. Um, he like laughed, and I was so embarrassed. I was like, "Oh, haha!" Ha. I just ran. Like I was leaving, and then he like started f- like not following me. Like he was also leaving. By the way, he did not wash his hands, so he was also leaving the locker Disgusting. room. And he like said something. I couldn't really hear it because I had my headphones in. But he was like, uh, "Oh, it was just a courtesy catch or something like that." What? I don't know. I don't know because I had my headphone in. And I couldn't really hear. And, he, and I turned around and I was like, oh, haha, thank you. And then I just ran out of the Planet Fitness. Yeah, that's horrible. It was so embarrassing. I was scared we were going to see him today. Damn it. Isn't that horrible, Gracie? I told you it was embarrassing. Like, he caught me. I'm like 200 pounds. And with one arm, he that's, held me up. Wow. That's the beginning. He kind of, he looks like the long lost Kelsey brother. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. That, that sounds like the beginning of a what past story. It does. I'm going to start writing it. I'm good. <laughs> Anyways, that was my just my little my little story tip. I will say it made me feel alive because I was like, I can't wait to tell this on the podcast. But you felt dainty and little and petite. I did feel very petite, like oh, <laughs> like, oh. like oh, oh, like Tumbelina. What's her name? Tumbelina. No girl. I felt like the one. What's the one with the pig nose? Peppa. No, <laughs> no. The the princess. She has a pet. You made me watch this movie. It's like a princess, but she has a pig nose. Oh. Peppa? No, girl, what? Penelope. 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 Oh, that that's a how, good movie. That's how I felt. You know, at least watch that together, too. Anyways. I made you watch that? Yes, girl. Why? You, the amount of movies you've made me watch. You've made me watch that one. You've made me watch this weird Sasquatch movie. That's a good Sasquatch no, movie. No, it's not. What is that one called? Sasquatch gang or something. It's like the kids are like friends with Bigfoot or something. Good I don't movie. Know. Anyways. Do you have other any other notes? 
Yeah, I just, it's like a quick little side story about how I got robbed by three little girls at work. Robbed? Yeah. So, in my <laughs> other job that I have. <laughs> robbed? Yeah, I was like checking. I was Wait, like, is this clickbait? No. Oh my god. Okay. okay Not go. exactly. Okay, okay, go. Actually, it sounds like clickbait, but it, it is and it technically is not. So, I was like, like done with life as usual because <laughs> I hate this. It's not my job with the kids. It's the other one. It's the other one. The corporal America. No, it's a capitalist job. Okay. And I hate that job. I literally hate it with the passion. Like, when I'm there, I'm like a zombie. Like, I'm just there to make money. Like, you shut your brain off. It's yeah. Like 1984. It's, she's turned off. Like, my my body is on automatic. Or what's it called? Uh, on pilot? Autopilot. autopilot yeah. The Tesla. Yeah, like the Tesla. And, <laughs> and I was like... Some little girls like come up to me, and it was like four girls. It was not three; it was four. And they're like, like what rushing. age? They're like thirteen, okay. fourteen, and they're all wearing like the same outfit, like some tie dye, like yellow pink sweaters. And they're like all rushing, and they're like, "Oh my god! Like we need to, we need to leave. Like we just need to pay for this. Like our teacher is leaving. Like blah blah blah." So I'm like, I'm like taking my sweet time, like ringing them you up ate, ate. also like if you like ring fast like you can make a mistake you know yeah so i was just like taking my time you knew they it. were trying to rush you like you could feel it yeah or but you were also, just like what am i supposed to do i'm not gonna do a lousy job okay yeah period and like on my job like they only do um credit cards or debit like they don't accept cash so there's like some prepaid cards that they can get in some machines where they like put their cash and then they get like a card like a mastercard really yes yeah, fucking stupid so they said that they ch- had just filled them up with money or whatever <laughs> so they like one of the girls like tries paying for the shorts and the total was like 150 or something and like it doesn't go through okay. and like the girls like Three of them had just gotten the shorts and they had left. <gasps> and then the other one was like, oh, my God, like, let me just come back. Let me go get my teacher. And she, like, ran before I could say anything. And basically, that's how I got. I got robbed by four little girls. And they just never came back. Did you have to report it? Yeah. What did you say? I was like, I just got robbed. Like, they just, like, <laughs> ran away. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to say? Well, like, nothing. Like, they that's crazy like they just like left like they just ran girl why is it the wild west at that store girl i have no idea that's crazy i was like fuck like i just got like couldn't they be more sleek i know like don't even pretend to pay for it just leave yeah uh, don't make it such a like now you involve now they involve you yeah that's crazy so i don't know if there's like a record of like all the times i get like shit stolen girl, who cares? You're, you're not gonna be there forever yeah and also it's not coming out of your picture. I don't know if we should be saying that live on the pod, but yeah, whatever. Um, anyways, is that all your little story times? Yeah, and I wanted to convince you to watch another show. Okay, go. Well, we're about to get into the baby reindeer. The camera's about to die, so this is an audio exclusive. It's gonna be um, the baby reindeer like discussion. But Grace says she has another show she wants me to watch. So right now, I'm I'm. Obsessed. Girl, don't swing the mic around. Okay, there. I'm obsessed with the show, and it's, it's the Fallout show. And Anna Grace, yeah, I've been watching it with Josiah. Okay, on well, Amazon Prime. It's you. On yeah. Amazon Prime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, so good. Wait, what episode are you on? Um, we have two more left. Oh, me too. Where did they get into the vault? Then, yeah, they're in the new vault. Yeah. Yes, that's where okay, that's where so we are too. Well, I guess I don't have to convince you. I'll just yeah, give no. you the lore. So basically, I started watching the show. Well, Dario, okay, so last time I came to LA, when was it, like, two, three weeks ago? Yeah, oh, we were playing that game on the Tesla, no? No, that was when you came to San Diego. Oh, oh, oh. But um, when I came, I saw, we were, like, driving around, um, what's that Mal one? Rose. The what? bus stop? There was, like, one mall or whatever. And there was a Fallout, sh- a Fallout like, pop-up. <gasps> and And I was like, oh, I was like, there's a show coming up. So I like kind of like kept my eye, eye out. Wait, was I with you? Yeah. 
I was driving around. You didn't even notice, and I didn't like point it out because you don't. We should have gone. It's because you don't play that game. So I was. Well, but I love a free pop up. Oh, that's true. Okay. I think we we were like in a time crunch oh, okay. that weekend, so I just didn't mention anything. And since you don't watch it, and like I don't play that game, I didn't really care. But I mentioned it to Dario, my younger brother, because he loves Fallout. Like mm. he's like obsessed. Like mm. he has like the video game on his. I think it's on his Xbox. He has it on on his phone. Like the it, app version? Yeah, yeah, there's an app version. And he plays it on the Tesla. Yeah, I, I have the app one, like the little mobile game where you make the shelter. But yeah. I don't think that's what the other... like. No, it's different than the yeah. video game. We were going to buy the Fallout 4 for the Xbox. We were looking it up. Uh-huh. But I was like, oh, this is like... I thought it was like a cutie little like no it's like a shooting game like, yes yeah, a shooting game yeah. no like my brother has been obsessed with it for years so mm-hmm. like I've always like known about it so like I've always like I don't know whenever like my brother's like something I'm always like in the lookout for it you're like let's see what the deal what's is. going on yeah. so like when it came out by camera um I literally didn't even know Cause he's Are you serious? He doesn't use social media. Oh. He's like me in 2014. What a good day for him then. Yeah, so I was like, did you know like a show came out? He didn't like know. And I was like super excited about it because yeah. like it seemed like it was going to be good. Yeah. And also I had seen on, uh, also on TikTok as always, that some there was a man making like an edit of like the girl's butt. <gasps> oh yeah, that sh- it, like... <laughs> It did, like he wanted it to look big and round and yeah. so he like, <laughs> like, so like, like and that he was mad he was like that's crazy he's it like, is crazy yeah yeah but i don't know it's just like telling him that and we were like he was like i don't know he was like why do you want to watch i was like i don't know it's just i was like well since you love the, your video game so much like i want to watch something with you that you love mm-hmm. and he he was happy about it mm-hmm. so then we started watching it and let me tell you guys fucking amazing crazy i'm so shocked that you liked it why that's like i thought it was like a straight people show but it's it's about capitalism it's kind of straight girl it's like everything i love i love apocalypse you do i love the 1950s you do i like a little bit of steampunk loki you love anti-capitalism anti-capitalism i love a strong female character love her i love her love 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 and like i don't know it's just like such so fucking dark it's so it's like I did not expect it to be so good, but like, just I watched the first episode and I was like, Hugged. I think this is so good. So fucking good. I, d- I wasn't sure because like, I don't know, video game shows like are, can be like, I didn't really like The Last of Us. It just wasn't for me. Mm-hmm. But I think what's so good about the Fallout show is that it's not the story of the video games. It's just exists in the same world. Like yeah. The Last of Us is literally just everything from the video game it's just the video game as a tv show yeah yeah. whereas fallout is like it's it's like taking things from the video game and making it so because yeah i kept asking dario about it i was like was this in the video game he's like no yeah like their new characters like the monsters i guess are are similar and like the events Uh uh-huh they took inspiration but dario was like no like it's still like it's still really good and accurate Uh, and dario's like and since dario's like an actual like fan of it fallout Felonator. <laughs> <laughs> like he loves it. And like for That's a fan to like it. Like for us since we yeah. didn't watch it. Like yeah, we like didn't I play d- it. Yeah. Like we honestly we don't we were not part of it. No. I didn't really get any of the like references, obviously. Like the only one I got was like the little stim packs because uh-huh the app has uh-huh. those. So I was like, I know that. I know the like giant cockroaches because the app mm-hmm. has that. But I didn't really know any of the lore of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to see how it ends. It already got renewed for season two. Yeah. So I'm very excited. Amazing. I'm am- like they need more shows like that. Actually, yeah, no, they it's don't. It's so big budget. Also, it oh, looks so good. Also, like I don't know, but like whenever like something comes out on Prime on Amazon, I'm like, oh, it's probably not gonna be good. Is that bad? Y- yes, because shockingly, the pr- the Amazon Prime shows have been really hitting lately. Really? And obviously, what it- about the J Lo one? Well, no, not that. <laughs> I just mean like the shows that Netflix or that Amazon Prime chooses to buy, like uh-huh. they and obviously like they don't. Have I any haven't seen any good ones. The Boys is also. Um, no. It's very. That's why sh- I'm shocked you like it. The it's very similar to The Boys. I don't think it is. I've watched it. I've watched The Boys, not by choice. I know, not by choice. I was captive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you were. No, no, somewhere else. Girl, you need to stop being kidnapped. Yeah. Um, Gen V, the one of the with the annoying people. Did we tell that story? Who's Gen V? 
the the uh, the cast of Gen B was sitting next to us at Swingers, and they were like being loud and obnoxious. Yeah, that was also an Amazon Prime show. Yeah, then I I didn't watch that. Well, yeah. I th- I honestly don't think I follow it's like too straight. Interesting. Like at all. I feel like it's very straight. I don't think so. Okay. It gives me everything I need. Period queen. Actually, yeah. It's in a, a way, straight yeah. people show queen. In a way, yeah. Actually, it is. Because like, even the, the last... Like, the sex is very straight. Even The Last of Us, like, there are so many gay scenes in it. To me, it still feels like a show for straight people. It is. Yeah, so... Obviously, j- gay j- people love it. Gay people love video games. But, like, <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah, just because they're showing, like, three, like, gay relationships doesn't, like counter all the five thousand like straight relationships yeah also the little sorry <laughs> i should not have said little <laughs> the guy from hannah montana he's eating the little this. no he's really he's good. so good. i haven't seen him in a while no me either i thought he was like in jail i keep but calling I, him rico well i don't know his name in the show. i don't know it either um he's so good in the show i was so shocked i was like okay it's serious acting He's really yeah. insane. That's why I kept telling that you're like I'm shook in the ground. Like yeah. I'm getting the, the, the chills. I love. How do you feel about the um, the sh- the cowboy guy? Like the ghoul. I want to fuck him. I knew you would. You know what? I was gonna tell you to watch it. And I was like, gonna like tell you to watch that's it. That's crazy. I was like, like I, I I was gonna like try to convince you to watch it right now. We said the secret life of besties. I was gonna say it's in a post-apocalyptic, atomic punk, retro-futuristic, post-war culture. Of the 1950s. You ate with that description. Will that make you watch it? Probably not, huh? It, maybe. Who knows? I also do like apocalypse shows because they scare me so much. Me too. You you know, like, that's one Girl, of my biggest like, We would not survive in that. No. In Fallout. We wouldn't survive in Fallout. The Last of Us, Walking Dead. We would. Girl, we'd be dead in the first. You know what the scene where they show how the world ended? Uh-huh. That's where we'd be dead. No, the I Quiet know. Place, dead. First day. Okay, first of all, Fallout, we would have died either for not being able to afford <laughs> to. <laughs> the vault? The vault, or we would get like the cheap ones where they like make us into something else yeah girl we would be at the base of the nuclear bomb <laughs> we would they would bomb it right on top of us no, before then, anything you gets know started. what like gave me like the chills when they revealed how like wait don't the government wait sh- oh i don't know i might not be there yet wait what episode are you in and they just got to the new vault oh so you're not in the i don't know i don't know you might be ahead of me okay never mind then the government wait no wait they the girl you know what the episode i just watched that ended Mm -hmm. spoilers by the way you know what if you guys don't want any more spoilers bye besties thank you for listening go watch fallout it's so good and we're gonna talk about it again more next week when we finish it and also baby reindeer we didn't have time to talk about it this week but um i'm about to spoil if you're gonna watch something don't watch baby reindeer watch fallout how about that well, they're very different things. I couldn't, like, I wouldn't even tell someone to decide between the two because I would watch Fallout. Uh, well, Baby Reindeer, you could watch in one sitting. Fallout That's is true. a little bit. It's more, long. It's they're long. like an hour yeah. or over an hour. Um. So the one I just watched that ended was the col- when when they're taking off their clothes. Mm-hmm. Do you watch that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So it was that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait. So when they re- be- when they revealed. That the government was working with the fallout shelters. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. The, so, so the government was like not trying to make peace with the with China. Yeah. So, so, so the so the fallout shelters could sell more yeah. more shelters. It's sick. Like that. Star. It was so fucking dark. Yeah. I was so shocked. I was like, I because I, I was watching with Josiah and I was like, I thought it was just gonna be like another little video game show. I didn't expect it to be so like political i think that's why i like it i think so too i don't think i would like to much a capitalistic and anti-capitalist anti yeah (laughs) anti-capitalistic show and like how how people become monsters because of it yeah and like how this was all brought because of capitalism and the part that gave me even more the chills when she's looking at the like whiteboard and learning about Sen- or what? What is it that when they rebuilt California? Yeah, and they nuked it again yeah. because that's just the cycle of capitalism. She's like, "There's no, there's yeah. no happy ending here." Yeah, like we're all gonna. It's not yeah. gonna be a good ending for us. New California. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Actually, gave me the chills. What a good show! I, yeah. I honestly, I might rewatch it when I'm done. Yeah, I think so. T- t- I hope the new season comes out soon. Should we cosplay a sexy girl? I'm so down. A sexy follow shelters. No. How about you be the girl and I'll be um, who could I be? I don't want to be the ghoul because 
I have a big He's nose. He's too sexy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to. Maybe I could be the guy, I guess. Rico? You look like Rico. No, not Rico. Honestly, I do want to wear that little cutie little blue outfit. I can pretend we're cousins. Should we wear that to Comic Con? Yeah. Oh, wow. We're we nerding out. We're nerding out with the dolls tonight. Okie dokie. <laughs> you wait with that. You should watch Yellow Jackets. Have you seen Yellow Jackets? No. That same Where's girl. Where's it on? The main, uh, I think it's Hulu Showtime. I'm Who? not 100%. Hulu or Showtime. Oh, I, I fucking hate Hulu. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, we're anti Hulu on this channel. <laughs> no, we're not anti Hulu. We're just anti ads. <laughs> we just hate ads. And, like, it does stop us from watching shows on certain yeah. platforms because there's ads. That's but why we haven't watched the Logan Lerman show, even though we're going to go to a. What's it called? A Q and A. Q and A. With the screening of the finale. Yeah. So it's not like there's, there's a point in us even watching it anymore. Honestly, this, is, this might be crazy, but I thought of watching it illegally, <laughs> <Just> <laughs> even though I have Hulu, <laughs> <laughs> just to not have fucking. And you ate, I think. That's how anti-capitalistic I am. Yeah, that's and it's not our fault. It's it's yeah. capitalism. Well, holding my fucking iPhone, made from child labor. I think, I think let's end there. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for listening to the Besties podcast. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and you will get notifications every week when the new episode comes out. Um, and I we have some other video, like I might vlog New York. Um, whatever, we'll have other stuff coming up soon. Um, go to bestiespod.carrd.co, and you can find all of our stuff there. Um, go to our TikTok where I clip some of the best parts of the episode um follow us on our instagram i post when the new episode is out and some other little things some little memes on there that i think are besties related um and we ate. if you want to see the animals gracie compared us to go to the besties instagram um and yeah what's the question of the day that nobody answers but we're gonna keep asking oh we forgot to do g-spot we'll do g-spot next week oh yeah that's true um the question of the day is who is your favorite celebrity gorilla? Daniel, that's a Cause there's good a lot. question. It's crazy, I don't even know mine. And also, the Planet of the Apes is coming out in like two weeks, so I'm we're, ready. We're, we're ready for that. I'm it's crazy ready. how much like straight people media we consume. Fuck. You don't think like Planet of the Apes is straight? It's straight the hell. Like that's straight. But we're doing it for the animals, not for the straightness. <laughs> we're yeah, we're doing it for the um the fantasy of animals overtaking the planet. Yeah. Whoa. Fuck, that's scary. Okay, I think it's time for Daniel, us to go. who's your favorite gorilla? Um, you know what? I'm gonna say Harambe just because of the tragedy. Uh-huh. Like, I know people use it as like a joke. Yeah. But I honestly think it's so depressing how like he was put into a cage. A stupid, dumb child. Oh, the went, parents too. Well, dumb all of them. Yeah, they're also stupid. The parents were stupid, and the child is stupid. Um, went into that cage. The gorilla didn't was n- had never been didn't know what to do in that situation didn't actually hurt the child like he was just swinging it around why couldn't they just put it to sleep well they did girl he's taking a long nap no but why <laughs> couldn't they just like what's it called when they just make them take a nap tranquilize tranquilize them because people wanted blood that's fucked up it's the song who's afraid of little old me is about harambe wow that's so sad all of tortured poets is about gorillas actually that's so fucking bad. And sorry. also, wait, it's also about Caesar. Oh, wait, Caesar's not a gorilla. No, he's, he's a, a chimpanzee. chimpanzee. Anyways, who's your favorite gorilla? Well, I think we know the answer to that. Yeah, little Coco. Oh, all right. She was so well spoken. Harambe and Coco, you would have loved the Besties podcast. They're besties. They're the so the Besties podcast, but it's them. Aww. That's so cute. Okay, we're just saying random shit at this yeah. point. So <laughs> okay. okay, bye, bye Besties. Guys. Thanks for listening.